This is our Linux unit right here. Let's check this baby out. Set my tools down. All right, so this is a Linux LCH150. Sound like it's not running. So I don't hear anything running. Fuses. Here's a disconnect. So disconnect switches off. Um, need to figure out why did they turn this off. Don't just want to walk up and uh, turn this unit on. Um, so everything's connected up there. Our compressors look good. Let's check our belt. Oh. Look at that. So this is my guess why the unit is probably left off. Uh, look at that pulley. Uh, that thing there is bad. All right, so I just took my bolts loose. Got these bolts loose. As you can see, it just came up a little bit. And uh, basically I gotta get to that tension pulley. And uh, I'm gonna swap that out. I'm gonna go pick one up and uh, come back and replace it. All right, so I need a socket. Uh, what is that, a three and quarter? Oh, that's way too big. Uh, what is that, five eight? All right, that five eight's not gonna cut it. So 916. So that fits right on that nice and snug. And um, let me go ahead and um, break this loose. Just head to the supply hall. All right, so here's our new pulley right here. Tension pulley. Uh, like I said, it's a Linux unit, fairly new unit. Uh, let's go ahead and get this installed. We're gonna go back in there like this, and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, tighten this baby on, secure it up, tighten it up. I just installed the bolt. Got this thing here um, held up. It's not tightened. Um, before you tighten this bolt, you need to use a adjustable wrench or a wrench on this little bolt right here. And uh, you, what you're going to do is to tighten this belt up, take this slack out. You're going to put the wrench on there like this. Put your adjustable wrench on there like that. And then you want to just move that up see in the back right there just get it on there and then see look up down loosens it up tightens it so you know I'm gonna tighten it up right there uh, so look now we have a nice tight belt so now I'll use my socket and I uh, will tighten this up all right so I got my socket on there and uh, all I want to do is tighten this up, tighten that bolt up. I'm just using this pulley against the crescent wrench. Kind of hold it because I'm holding the phone with the other. And there we go, man. This pulley installed nice and tight. Snug it up a little bit. All right, so I got the new pulley on. Belt's nice and tight. Here's my old tension pulley right here. So um, you see belts nice and fine. Look at that, don't sit too down in the grooves. Also man, this is a pretty cool tool right here. Um, reversible, quarter inch, 516. I know a lot of guys probably have it, but um, I love that tool. It's part of my tool bag. All right, so everything's in. 
Uh, let's go ahead and start this baby up. Move some of these tools out of here. I'm gonna play around. Tools out. Uh, let's check our controller. Uh, Prodigy. So it's just booting up. Lord, don't just shut. Everything is on. Alright, let's see what the M draw rating is for 4.0. 460 volts. Alright, so let's just check our amps. So we draw 4.2 amps on the valve fan. That's pretty good. That's what we want to see. Both fans are running. This unit is cooling. Pressures look fine. So it looks good on this stage. Let's check the other stage. All right, so let's check out other stage. And yeah, pressure look good here. Uh, gotta find me a cap to put back on here. Cap is missing. I keep caps in my tool bag because I'm a refrigeration guy and refrigeration guys should always have caps in the tool bag. Doesn't matter if you AC or refrigeration, you should always carry something just to put back on for customer appreciation. I know one AC company back in the days, they would use that part of their like tactic, you know. The other company that was out there, they would show the homeowners, look, the other company left your caps off, you know, just to try to make their company look better. So you should always carry some caps in your tool bag, man. Tip of the day. All right, so Lenny's unit back up and cooling. Found the unit off on arrival. Uh, found the tension pulley broken. Went and picked it up, came back and installed it. Um, Quick, easy fix for the day.